Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be talking about trash. Um, my beauty trash. These are the products that I have used up during the month of April. And I'll just kind of do a little mini review and show you what I used and go from there. I don't have a whole lot. Um, for whatever reason, I'm just not going through products as quickly. I think it's because I've been trying so many new stuff here lately that I just don't have a whole lot. So anyway, we'll start with this here. This is a shower gel um, from Bliss. It's the Lemon and Sage Soapy Suds Body Wash and Bubbling Bath. I did like this. I don't think I would repurchase um, just for the, the simple fact that once I get through all of my stash of body products, body washes, I think I'm just going to stick with Dove and just be done with it because I there's so many of them that have so much fragrance in them that they irritate my arms so I just don't want to risk it I know the dove works so um, but anyway it was nice it was a different a nice scent to it my husband liked it he likes lemon scent and so he helped me use it so and it had a lot of bubbles and so it was okay yeah it's good they're a little bit on the pricey side, but you can find, I see them all the time, like at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, so keep your eye out for them there. Then I have an eye mask. This is from Bosha. This is the Saki Brightening Hydrogel Eye Mask. I bought these during the Sephora VIB sale. I've only used this one. Um, I don't really, I didn't care for it. I didn't think it was that great. Um, it wasn't as moisturizing as I thought it would be, and it was very hard. It didn't want to stay underneath the eye long enough for it to really penetrate in there. They kept kind of slipping around, and I was trying to lay in my bed and be still so they didn't slip and slide. But uh, they're and they were pricey too. I think they were like so fifteen dollars for three, I think, which I thought was kind of high. But um, no, I went and repurchase those. And then I have these little eye masks that I did like. Now these were sent to me and I did a full review of these and I'll put a little card up here, but it's the V2 Oxygen Eye Mask and it's for an eye mask that's for overnight. I've used three of them and um, they help with depuffing under the eye. Um, it was a, a like a silicone type material that was next to your skin on your eye and it had a little bit of like a almost like a stickiness to it where it stayed put and then when you got up in the morning everything was kind of depuffed and brightened looking so I did use up three of those oh boy a couple of um, bath products that I did not like um, I think yeah this is the dirty mermaid Sea Kiss. Oh, this was the Sea Kiss mask. This is, was not a, a bath product. That's why I was looking at it. I thought it was the mask. But anyway, okay, this was sent to me with an order, and I forgot the company that I ordered from. But anyway, this was one of the samples that they sent to me. Okay, so let's kind of start off. Start over. This is the Dirty Mermaid Beauty Sea Kiss mask with organic seaweed and coconut milk. So it was one of those masks that you. Um, mixed water with it and I was real excited when I got it because I haven't tried any that are along those lines that you mix water with it and put it on your face and you know create a mask oh no 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 this was gross <laughs> okay first of all I'm gonna see oh, if you can kind of see in there a little bit the green powdery substance that's in there and this stuff stunk it stunk okay I don't like going swimming in lakes in ponds in oceans because I can't get over the funk smell and this had that smell it smelled like I was putting dead fish on my face and I did not like it um, when I mixed it with the water it looked gross no 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 did not like that no not in the leap no didn't even like it I didn't think it did anything for my skin. Um, all it did was just gross me out. So, no. And then also from Dirty Mer Mermaid, this is one of the products that I actually ordered. And this was a um, bath soak 
here and I didn't really care for it because it had pieces it was supposed to be like a rose one and it had pieces of actual roses and I just don't like anything floating around in the tub so I didn't really care for that either I definitely won't re repurchase this and I definitely won't go back on the website and purchase that old guy Ugh, no I mean I appreciate you know the fact they sent me a, a sample but mm -mm. Ooh, yuck okay all right we're over that then i had a little sample of the urban decay optical illusion complexion primer um i did purchase this also during the vib sale but i don't like it um, it's very difficult to work with it if you can get it on your face without it um, balling up it's very pretty it's just getting it to work on your skin without it starting to ball up that's that's the only problem i have it on today as my primer but it was very difficult because once i got it all on i had to take a brush and wipe all the little pieces off and anyway so if it just didn't ball up it would be a beautiful beautiful primer but it's just that balling up aspect of it and i don't know if there's enough in here for me to swatch or not a little bit but there it is and um I mean it goes on the hand really nice but just putting it on my face it just and I've tried all different ways I've you know have waited a long time after putting my skincare on they go well maybe my face was a little bit too too damp from my moisturizer but it still did which is unfortunate because I really like the way it makes the skin look but anyway then my trusty makeup wipes uh, you thought I wasn't going to have one because I usually leave off with this or lead off with this but this is the Apple Original Clean Facial Cleansing Toilets from Big Lots I buy these in bulk whenever now I usually go in and buy like six at a time these are cheap they're two dollars and fifty cents they work really good I have used them a time or two to actually tape makeup off my face I usually just use them for swatches and for cleaning my brushes spot cleaning my brushes when I put my makeup on but they were actually okay for taking the makeup off I don't recommend using towelettes like that as your sole item for taking your makeup off and cleansing your skin um, you definitely want to use a makeup remover and then you definitely want to go back in and do a second cleanse and cleanse your skin because that first initial step you're just taking your makeup off that's all you're doing you're just getting it off and then you want to go in and really clean your clean your skin just a little skincare tip there for you some um cotton rounds this one is definitely the last one because I had to go I had to actually go and buy some cotton rounds I don't like these these are from Target and the reason why I didn't like them is I like the ones that have a little bit of texture to them I like the ones that exfoliate better and um, so I wouldn't buy these again just for that reason now if you don't like the exfoliating cotton rounds then these are nice from Target the up and up brand but I like the ones that I get from um, from Ulta the best and then some more cotton I have the cotton clouds and these are 200 individual little um, cotton squares that are supposed to be comparable to the Shiseido and I do have a comparison video it's an old one I did it a while back but I'll put that up there also for you to look at but um, I have those that I've used and then some more little cotton squares that I have used and this is from the brand um, Cremor Lab. And this came with a essence, a water essence, which I've only used like this much of that water essence, but I used up all my little cotton rounds. These were like little cotton pillows. Um, they were like this big. I wish I would have kept one to show you, but they were just like a little pillow. They were a little bit puffy too, just like a little pillow. And um, I liked them and I, I was researching because I thought well I, I really like these and I did find that Ulta actually carries something very 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 similar so I will if I can remember hopefully I can remember I'll put a link down in the description box about with for those little cotton pillows that lost to sales anyway so um, Peach and Lily website if you if you are interested in Korean skincare you need to check out the Peach and Lily website um, they have a lot of good products on there and this was the box that those little 
cotton pillows were in that I used up. Okay, I did my feet. Um, this is the Baby Foot Exfoliant Fit Peel. And um, my last empties, I had one in there that I said I didn't like, that it didn't work, it did nothing. This, on the other hand, my goodness, this stuff took the top three layers of my foot off. Yeah, no, it didn't, not really, but it did. It worked really, really good. And my feet are super, super soft and smooth and been wearing my flip flops, even though today it's like 40 degrees out, but I got my flip flops on. Yes, I do, but anyway, so yes, I do recommend this. It is pricey. There was another one that I used last year that I really liked, and when I went back to Amazon to order it, it, it wasn't on Amazon anymore, so I got the, the baby foot one. This is the reason why I got this one. And I did like it. It worked. It did what it said it was going to do. It just takes a while to to do it because you do have to sit with those little foot footlets on your feet for over an hour, and then you have to wash your feet. And um, they recommend that you not get up and walk around, or if you have to, just very little. And so that's the only downside is you're kind of confined to your chair with that on. Okay. This next product, I liked in the very beginning. This is from Drunk Elephant. It's the little lippy um, that they have. I guess it's just called lippy. Anyway, it was in a kit that I bought back during um, the Christmas time holiday, November. It was in a kit. And when I first started using it, I really liked it. It was very moisturizing. I kept it by my little bedside and used it every night. But toward the end, it started getting this horrible, funky smell. I can't even describe the smell to you. I mean, I, I don't understand what that smell is. It's just weird. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it didn't smell like that in the beginning. So it went off. And it's not like, you know, I waited to use it and it was, you know, old. I started using it right away out of that kit so I don't understand why it started getting that funky odor to it but because there was there's actually enough left for like another probably month in there but I just can't get over that smell but I did use I mean I used like a lot of it I don't know if you, like, you can see how much I used there quite a bit but anyway so I would not purchase that just for that reason alone is that it just went off so, I don't know. And then, I my last item is this item here. And this came in a Mimi box a long time ago. I'm still trying to get through a lot of those products that I got from the Mimi box. And this is called the Pink Piggy. Pink Piggy Char Char. I don't know. And I couldn't tell you anything that it's supposed to do because it's all in Korean but I kept the little box because the little box was just so cute it's just pink and it's called pink piggy it was a moisturizer I used it during the day and it came with a little spatula so you didn't um, contaminate the product by sticking your fingers in and it was the weirdest type material product and I still have a little bit in here because I saved a little bit because I wanted to show you but what it would do when you would dip in your finger you can see it there or your little spatula then the next day when you opened your little jar it looked like you hadn't used any at all it all went back together and smoothed back out it was weird it's almost like a gel or gelatinous type material but it was very moisturizing and I really did like it and it wasn't heavy it didn't have you know a heavy fragrance to it and I, I really did enjoy it I mean I used it from start to finish except for that little bit right there that I wanted to show you but and then the little jar itself is just super cute and girly and I mean who can't who wouldn't love open up a little jar every day of pink piggy to use on your face but anyway it was cute I liked it I don't know if I would go back and repurchase it or not just for the simple fact that I have so many moisturizers that I need to get through that um, maybe not but I really did like it though so I may actually put that in my notes of things that I really liked to purchase later on 
in the future. Anyway, so that is it for my empties. Like I said, it was a whole lot. Um, I just haven't really gone through a whole lot. I do have some products though that I emptied for my project pan that I didn't show you. I'll just show you that during my um, project pan update. And if you're wondering why there wasn't any like face mask, or you like, gosh, does she not doing her face mask? Oh yes, I am. I'm just not been doing a whole lot of sheet masking, but I've been doing a lot of cream, um, peel off, um, mud mask, that type of masking, the kind that are in like little jars like this or in little containers um, instead of the one time sheet mask. Um, so I've been doing those instead, just kind of working on those a little bit because I don't want them to go bad. Anyway, so that's it for my empties. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want, click on that little bell icon so that you're notified of future videos. And I will talk to you later on. Bye.